what we're doing today. I'm going to get better acquainted with the jack pine tree. See, I have this water container that I got from my time at Penn State Altoona. I graduated from there in 2009. See what this says? If you want to know the pine, go to the pine. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're heading up into the cloud lands, or is it the frost lands? Maybe the ice lands, look at the top of the mountain, or at the base of Barclay, heading up Mountain Road. 37 degrees at the bottom. Oh, just changed to 36 degrees Fahrenheit. We're approaching the patch on this mountain road where some years ago a tornado came through, which explains why all the tops of the trees here are sheared off with this stretch right here. Temperature is down to 35 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see the branches of the trees are just covered with snow and ice. Mostly snow. This is steep. Wow. Check out the view. You might be able to see Mount Pisgah State Park in the distance there. We're entering a winter wonderland as we get to the top of the hill at Barclay Mountain here today. Even more snow on the branches a little higher up. Now the temperature gauge says 34 degrees Fahrenheit. The road's a little slick in some spots. Up here at the top of Barclay Mountain, temperature gauge says 33 degrees Fahrenheit. And wow, look at that. Even all the needles on the white pine branches and the hemlock branches here along the road just covered in snow. This is beautiful. We're gonna make our left turn here onto Long Valley Road. And we're headed to State Game Lands 36 up here. Because at the edge of the field, the big field at State Game Lands 36 is a, a particular pine tree the jack pine tree that I made a video about yesterday. As far as pines go, the jack pine has the farthest northward range, so it's uh, kind of a, a boreal species, um, which means of the north. We're pretty far south from the boreal forest in Canada, right here in Bradford County, Pennsylvania, but the, the increase in elevation uh, seems to be what uh, sets the stage for a colder climate and better, uh, I guess, acceptable conditions uh, for jack pine trees. I don't see any other cars in the lot, but since we're on game lands, I've put my orange vest and my orange hat on so that I have heightened visibility. In case there are hunters out there, they'll see me and they won't shoot in my direction. There's so much snow uh, draping on the tree's branches up here. So as I walk along the access road, into the field. Just look at the, these uh, these birch trees. They're dangling really low because of the weight of the snow that's hanging on the branches right now. I think I've picked out the tops of the jack pine trees here in the distance, so I'm heading off across this sh shrubby field towards it. There's our jack pine. Kind of a squatty looking shrub of a pine tree from the distance that uh, makes it relatively easy to pick out. Nice and wide, see that? Uh, these are typically some of the first trees to, they're pioneer species, they're some of the first to recolonize uh, areas that have been either logged or burned in the, uh, in the northern forest. Let's head over for a closer look. Here we are, we've made it to the base of the jack pine trees. And uh, I've noticed that they must have done, the Game Commission must have done a, a controlled burn in this field uh, in the past several years because the, uh, the, the, the bases of some of these trunks are a little bit charred, um, which is, is actually good uh, for the jack pine tree. The fire caused uh, some of these cones to actually open up and release their seeds. And I'm also looking at the base of this tree in particular. I wonder if these are the claw marks of a bear. That's pretty cool, right? Check this out. Here's 
found pine cones on an adjacent jack pine that must have been on this tree for years. Check out the lichens actually growing on the pine cone itself. <laughs> lichens are very slow growing organisms. Uh, and, uh, and these pine cones are starting to look pretty decrepit. It's amazing how long, I mean these are, this is years and years worth of pine cones still hanging on to the branches of these trees. I found a nice spot in the lower branches of one of these jack pines right next to a big green shield lichen. Look at the size of that. Lichens grow slowly, so that says to me this tree, I mean it's a big tree, it must be pretty old. And as I sit here, I can imagine uh, for the areas farther north in the uh, upper peninsula of, of Michigan, rare Kirtland's warblers uh, perching about and building the nests in the springtime in uh, these same species of trees. And I can imagine this in the same species farther up into the boreal forests of uh, central and northern Canada. Uh, animals like uh, like lynx uh, perching among these same kinds of branches or or birds like uh, like snowy owls and rough leg hawks perching at the tops of them. It's pretty amazing to uh, let my mind wander uh, while resting among the branches of uh, the jack pine tree, one of the uh, most northern and, and hardiest of our North American pine species. It's quiet. What a special experience this is today. With how flat it is it's, and how much snow is on the top looking up it kind of feels like there's a the jack pine itself has created a kind of ceiling it almost feels like i'm in a little room inside the uh close to the trunk of this jack pine tree and i'm surrounded by other jack pine trees and there's also a birch tree right here growing in the midst of them and we're surrounded by a wide open shrubby field which is i think very closely resembles the kind of habitat that where this particular kind of tree is found in the far north, which kind of explains why it's here in Bradford County, Pennsylvania. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this experience with a jack pine, and uh, I hope you're able to find time to get out and find a jack pine and enjoy it for yourself. Going back to that quote that, uh, that inspired me to get out here today, and of course I find northern our hardy northern species of pines and spruces and firs intriguing uh, and, and so that's part of the reason but uh, as I opened the kitchen cabinet this morning I saw that phrase printed on that water container it said if you want to know the pine go to the pine and so I went to the pine and I'm glad I did thanks for joining me I'll see you next time